Daquan Patton, Reggie Jones deep. And we go from Chapel Hill, and there will be no return, so the Catamounts of Mark Spear will take over at their 25-yard line. So, so many of these guys have been looking forward to, to this game because of the fact that they come from North Carolina. A lot of them grew up Tar Heels fans, so it's cool for them to get this opportunity. This is Spencer's first carry. And Donovan Spencer picks up almost seven on second down to give Western Carolina. Heels held Notre Dame to four of 11 eight days ago here at Keenan. Jones wants to throw and will sail it out of bounds. And we get our first opportunity there. The ball got driven away by Brandon Dickerson. And the Tar Heels handling the punt. Back here to the near side, Daz Newsom. He's been one of the best players in the entire country. He's coming off not his best game, so he's looking to rebound today. Michael Carter turns the corner and knocked out of bounds after a 10-yard run to the 39. His comfort in the pocket is the big thing that he's going to look for in the offseason to try and get better at, and as the season ends as well. Yep, and here's the first touch of the day for Javante Williams, and across midfield, the 44 of the Catamounts go the Tar Heels on the 10-yard play. Another tackle for Tally, and... There's Howell now, looking a little further down the field. Catch is made, and Daz Newsom works his way down toward the 30-yard line. Here's Howell on a play fake again. Dumps it back. This is Walston, the tight end, down to the 17, and a Tar Heel first down on the tackle by A.J. Rogers. Exactly where the answers are so far in this game. He seems to be really locked in. Carter on the carry and the touchdown for Carolina. Michael Carter makes it look easy on a 17-yard run and the Tar Heels on the board. Highlight film. I mean, this is a great job by the offensive line. Just getting a hat on a hat. Michael Carter trots into the end zone. Here is Will Jones. And the Catamounts going to work. First down give is Donovan Spencer. And the ball popped out of there, and it looks like it's recovered by Daquan Patton. Very fortunate bounce for Western Carolina. Sometimes that oblong ball falls right into your hands, and that's the case here. It actually gets kicked by a Carolina player. Yeah. Or Makai Stanley, I beg your pardon, on the carry that time. And here comes Jones, a little speed option into the boundary side, and that is Spencer. Taken off in front of the Carolina bench. Adamouse trying to get something going. That's Jones in motion. And Spencer again hit the cutback. And Donovan Spencer finally tackled by Don Chapman. You got to find those guys because most of these FCS schools have taken the fall off. Western Carolina is one of a handful and a big play there by the Tar Heels. Yeah, I'm not sure if this was a designed give, but if it was not, well, Jones certainly should have pulled it. Spencer is the back with Jones in the pistol here. And Jones on the follow and will get the first down to the 24-yard line of Carolina. Here's third down and seven. Jones to throw and dropped. And Robertson punches it through. 40-yard try. Yeah, it has. And we talked to Phil Longo about it, and he basically said, look, it, that's a sign of respect for what Daz Newsom has done. Sam Howell picks up the first down and goes for more. Absolutely. Inside the 25 before Howell is angled out on the play. Yeah, we had North Carolina the first game of the year, and Sam Howell said, I've worked on my mobility. I've worked on pulling the ball down and running a little better. And how about that? Some people miss. He's been going to the Michael Carter School of saucing guys in the open field. They called it 30 yards for Howell. Here's a quick throw, middle of the field. The catch is made and into the end zone. Antoine Green for the Carolina touchdown. Carolina, if this stands, will have their 116th play over 15 yards this year, Roddy. Wow.
and everything that goes into this offense and an offensive coordinator in Phil Longo that tailors his offense to what the strengths of his players are. There will be a return here. This is Reggie Jones. Across the 25 and knocked out of bounds near the 30-yard line. This fall, because of the fact that they're playing these three games, are invaluable and something that he really wanted going into that spring season. Yep, third down and eight. And the throw offline for Spencer. Daz Newsom back to take the punt of Brandon Dickerson here. At the 24, here's Newsom. Looking for an alley, 35-40. Newsom chopped down at the 46-yard line, and nice return by Newsom. 43-yard punt, 24-yard return, Ronnie. Well, Mark Spears said he wasn't going to kick it to Daz Newsom. Uh, he has done it twice, and this is, and that's borderline abuse, Wes. You get mushed in the face like that. That's a, that's a stiff arm that you put on the highlight film. That's one that you are certainly going to remember. You're home of the college football playoffs. Here's Howell on the first and five. A little read play for Sam Howell and enough for the first down before. I want Sam Howell sitting in the pocket, delivering the football. This is one of those where you have the game in hand. Let's just uh, let's protect our quarterback. Here's Howell, quick throws on the slant. And the catch is made, and it's... And you're likely going to have to fill a couple spots next year. Here's Carter bouncing again and stretching for the touchdown. Michael Carter makes it three possessions, three touchdowns for Carolina. Took A.J. Rogers into the end zone with it, Roddy, for the score. And 22 here in this first quarter. Very similar to the first touchdown, just his own play up the middle. He's got a nice hole, had a little more to do on the back end there. Stiff arms one Western Carolina defender, drags the other one into the end zone. We talked about him at the top. He and Javante Williams, two of the most difficult. Western Carolina takes over. Or they have it for third down at their 30-yard line, third and five. And the carry by McQueen. He got stacked up Surratt. Tar Heels off their 25. First possession of the second quarter. Howell spins it middle of the field. Here comes Newsom to the near side across the 40. Daz reroutes again and knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line by Gavin. We, we touched on it earlier, Wes. He came into this game with 40 receptions on the season, had 72 last year. And, and Phil Longo said, look, they are bracketing Daz Newsom all the time, so the, the production just hasn't been there. But he's done so much for this team. Throw to toe grows and a first down for Carolina. Howell is 12 of 13 to start the ball game. And make it 13-14. And Groves hit the ground. Did the ball pop loose after he hit her? No, it's a fumble. Only on the field is a catch. Cuffs it up. by the defense. First down. And it looks like Western Carolina going to be the beneficiary on a play by A.J. Rogers. Did not look like anything was close to being down. So off the 29-yard line, the Catamounts with a reverse and throw. And here is the tight end. This is Owen Kosinki. Down to the Carolina 31-yard line. Gotta love it. Kasinki is lined up to the bottom. He just sneaks down there to make it look like it's run the other way. Then the reverse comes. He sneaks out. And it's a monster play for Western Carolina. So here's the third and 15 play. Lincoln eludes the rush and will work his way back upfield and then slip down at the 35. Fourth down coming for the Catamounts. Carolina looks like they're keeping their defense on the field here for 4th and 13. And a short punt. And that will be fielded by Newsom just outside the 10. Back after this. Carter is just a super positive and energetic individual. Yeah, no doubt about that. Here is the uh, carry for Carter. Four more, Larissa. Go ahead. Absolutely loves football, and, and you love to see him have this type of day, especially on senior day. Sam Howell cuts it loose and up the ladder to make the catch. Emory Simmons, and he will finally be pushed out of bounds near the 45-yard line. Will not be back. Emory Simmons is going to step into that void, and he'll be in good hands. Here's Javante Williams in the open field. 
Williams inside the 30 to the 24. There's four backs in the country that have 800 yards rushing and 200 receiving. North Carolina's got two of them, and you see why. With the ball in their hands, they've both got great hands and great feel in the open field. Deami Brown slices inside the 10, first and goal for Carolina. Certainly expressing some displeasure with something that happened on that one. Yep, here's third and goal. Howell cuts it loose into traffic. Williams comes up with the catch, I believe. A couple of tight ends. Walston and Morales both in the package here. They're going to hand the ball. Javante Williams scores easily. Javante Williams, touchdown, Carolina. Um, another couple of in the other couple of drives. Saw Marcus McKeithen, Brian Anderson doing work up the middle. Jordan Tucker sealing off the edge. And he was the MVP of the regular season with Bryant. They lost to the Michigan Panthers in the first ever title game. Here's the throw on the perimeter, and this is Calvin Jones making the grab. And they're going to hand it to McQueen again. The ball is out. And scramble for it. Carolina promptly says they've recovered it. And they have. Time out on the field. Western Carolina's first turnover. Hillsman's team in South Florida to meet Katie Myers, Miami squad. Debbie Antonelli, Beth Mullins on our coverage on ACC Network. Here's Daz Newsom back to work. He's had a very, very busy first half for the Tar Heels. And loves the experience that they're getting before things start going for real in Southern Conference play. How the pump, the throw, Walston the catch inside the 15. How's pass is complete to number 84. Garrett Walston. Walston. Earlier this year, we had the Charles Snowden injury against right. Abilene Christian. It's just, you want to get everybody out healthy. Another throw, how this time to Newsom. Carter's the running back with Howell here on the first and goal. And Michael Carter easily Michael Carter into the end zone Carolina. for his third rushing score of the half. Of their rushing touchdowns have been some version of this. Look at the block by Garrett Walson up at the top, cutting down the backside. Michael Carter. At this young freshman. Here is Spencer, and he is pulled down, and it's Vahasek. Being a nose tackle, Ray Vahasek does not get Time the out. credit North that Carolina. I think he deserves. It's a good opportunity for them to come out and make a statement. Third down here for Western Carolina. Carolina's still got two timeouts. Lincoln trying to break free, and I think Vahasek got him around the legs and then waited on some mates to show up. Kimmel was there. Tigers need a win in Blacksburg to meet Notre Dame in Charlotte. Dickerson's punt toward Daz Newsom. And it will go out of bounds. And it will be awarded to Carolina. There's a flag There's a down. Flag on. From the interview process standpoint and interacting with these pro coaches, he is going to be a joy for these guys to be around. And it gives Sam Howell an opportunity in live reps to go through a two-minute drill. Yep. 55 seconds left. Tar Heels with a timeout. Howell looks. Going to loop for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, All Carolina. To and Daz Newsom. Newsom. Touchdown, Carolina. to go through because you don't get these live situations in situational football often when you do you have to give your quarterback and your team an opportunity to go through it this is about as well as they could have imagined a two play 50 by the ncaa is going to come into play for some programs yeah and you're going to have to figure out how many seniors do you allow to come back because you're obviously going to have to pay for those guys. And also, you're going to have to figure out from a scholarship standpoint how you stay under the NCAA's number for the next year. Good as a thrower of the football and as good an athlete as he's had at the quarterback position. Javante Williams is the running back, and he'll break free here. Williams almost to the 44-yard line, but the this six-foot-and-a-quarter-inch-tall freshman Kurzweil. He had across college football every single season guys could go down this is really big intercepted picked off and this is ronald kent taking it all the way back for the catamount touchdown 
Kent. Wes, this was a, an out route, and Kent just jumps it, and you saw Darius Smith at the end coming in and hitting the North Carolina. So Western Carolina takes over at North Carolina's 49, and we get another change at quarterback. Had some success with the zone reads earlier, too. And this is Spencer again trying to get to the backside of the play, and that's the freshman Desmond Evans. And Jones empties the backfield. Quick throw, and the catch is made. And that is Spencer. Jones pass is complete to number. All in all, Mark Spears got to be pleased with his offense. Certainly not pleased with the fumble, but his offense has moved the ball some here today. Yep. Spencer stays in the ball game with Jones. And another carry for Donovan Spencer. Breaks free inside the 20. Good hard running by the fifth-year senior from Charlotte. Tackle made by Trey Morrison out of the Tar Heel secondary. Well, Mac Brown said that he was not pleased with his defense's job in the run game early in the game. They sort of settled down. Well, in the second half, it looks like it did to start the game. And again, they slide it. Forward to Donovan Spencer. Six yard try here for Richard McCollum, and it's a fake. Catamount's going to throw for the end zone and incomplete. Cade Snotherly, the third quarterback on the roster, was looking for Clayton Bardall. <laughs> well, and it goes back to a Dre Bly influence. As you see, third down play for Carolina. Just the uh, third, third down of the day for the Tar Heels. Karen into punt. Young man from Ireland averaging about 44 yards a punt. Daquan Patton deep for Western Carolina. And will signal four and make the fair catch at the 43. Excited for her because she overcame so much. She is actually a cancer survivor. She's a mother. She's a wife. Uh, and an extended family with Mike and Sally, and uh, boy, they're so proud of their entire group. And should be, but that is just a, a wonderful story. Thank you, Larisha, for that. Here is Donovan Spencer making the play to midfield. I'm sorry, Larisha, go ahead. Um, it was uh, it was obviously something that was very special to him and his family. Yep. Here is Jones cutting it loose on fourth down, overthrown and almost picked on the back end by Giovanni Biggers. Carter obviously being a senior, going to the Senior Bowl, he will not be back. Javante Williams is a junior whose stock has been rising all season. So getting a look at some of these guys is going to be important. Here's Criswell on third and two. 71 career field goals for Kirk Roach, by the way, in his days as a catamount. Criswell going to cut it loose deep for the end zone and broke it up on the way for Antoine Green. There is a marker down around the end zone line. And Jacoby spins it right in the middle of the field, and that's Kamari Morales. The tight end, Larisha, picks up the first down. Yeah, great story. Inside give. Spinning toward the end zone is Jones. DJ Jones on the carry. And he'll be brought down at the one. Rogers Anderson. That was marked on the defensive side last year. Here's Criswell on a keeper. Spins, tries to reach for the end zone. The ball popped loose. And a scramble for it after the hit by Harris on Criswell. And it will stay with the Tar Heels for third down. The appearance for Jacoby Criswell that, that I think you would have imagined and through the pick that should have been a pick six and this one there's just no need to reach the ball out there unless you are sure you're going to get it across third down and goal and this is Jones finding a seam for the Carolina touchdown DJ Jones first Tar Heel touchdown to, to see guys like DJ Jones who have been practicing all season be able to get their first touchdowns. You know? And their third meeting all the time with Western Carolina leads 49 to 3. Will Jones starts the fourth with a shot to Bartall, the tight end. 
right. and then you, you throw in the six foot four, 220 pound quarterback, and yeah. that quarterback run game becomes even more menacing. There's a quick throw. Bardall again, or no, that's Kosicki, 84. The Will Jones pass is complete to one of the two tight ends. Oh, and Kosicki is a senior. Struggling uh, to put Auburn away in that one. And then Ohio State at six. I just feel like the number of games you have, you have to start rewarding some of these teams that have made it to seven or eight games. After what I saw at the end of the Indiana game, I'm just not so sure. Now, the way they've looked against Michigan State, I'm more willing to entertain. There's a throw on the perimeter, and Quillen will get back toward the original line. That means the Tar Heel possession will be controlled by Jace Reuter who was announced as one of those seniors before the ball game. And, uh, you know, with Michael Carter accepting the invitation to the Senior Bowl, Devontae Williams potentially a decision to make. And uh, Coach Brown was pretty candid with us yesterday about the value of having his uh, senior advisors on his coaching staff. Josh Henderson's come in the ball game. And he'll get the carry on the left side. And enough to pick up the first down at the 43. Dave O'Brien, Tim Hasselbeck, Katie George there for you tonight in prime time. Elijah Green back in the ball game on second and 10. He's got 10. He's got 15 for Carolina on the first down play. Rogers, the tackle in the secondary for the Catamounts. Pressure coming from the Catamounts, and Reuter fumbles the ball, and it's picked up. And Western Carolina's got Nigel Manns headed to the end zone Nigel for the Mann touchdown. On the recovery of the bubble for the Western Carolina touchdown. Watch the pressure coming off from the top of your screen. Someone's got to either be responsible for that guy or the quarterback's got to throw the ball hot off of him. Neither one of those two things happens, and that, that, that means you need a little work on that. They're going to have to go through that and practice a little bit this week. Extra point is blocked here with four and a half to go. And this is British Brooks, the junior from Ashbrook High School in Gastonia, North Carolina. These guys are so valuable that you want to have opportunities to get them in the game and to see what they can do and have success. Brooks in trouble there, though. Runs to the edge and got tackled. Heinlein, director of high school relations. Saw some other guys involved in it, too, that were part of the process here. Kind of funny. I talked to these guys who went to Carolina, and they talk about Carolina like there's no other place on earth. They absolutely love the university. It means so much to them. He said, sometimes I don't really, I don't really get it because I didn't go here, but they get emotional just talking about it. Reggie Jones was the guy to take the punt, but now with under two minutes to go, Ben Karen and Penn's Western D. There's no drawing. No, it is a continent. There's no, no drawing line. it is a continent, lines. not a country. Okay. No, no, it's both. It's, it's, it's both. both. Good to see Christopher with a play. You could tell the bench liked it. Link has come on here to finish this up in the final 15 seconds. And Jason Linky on the quarterback. That should be the final play of the ball game. Spear in Western Carolina 0-3 in their little fall series here before they line up in late February against Furman to start the Southern Conference season. And the Tar Heels get into the secondary to make the play. Roddy, what'd you see today out of these Tar Heels?